What's up, YouTube? This is a video write-up for the challenge Lights Out, the second web challenge from ICTF 2018. The challenge prompt was help, we're scared of the dark, and we're given a URL and a page that we can visit that doesn't have a whole lot in there. It says who turned out the lights, and it's all black. So we can view the source. I'm going to hit Control u here. Uh, and it's basic, bare-bones HTML. There's not a lot here. Um, really just clear fix, data hide equals true, strong data show equals true. So looks like they are trying to hide something, supposedly, who knows? Um, but there's not much that we can see in the HTML. So let's go exploring a little bit more. I want to check out what this main.css file is. And immediately it just looks like a bunch of garbage. Um, but it is just bootstrap with some stuff in here. And it's all messy and kind of hard to read. So what I ended up doing is actually just going to the original page and checking out the sources with the developer tools. So I hit F12 or Control Shift K or Control Shift J with it, depending on your own Firefox or Chrome, etc. And then we can check out, okay, what are we actually looking at here in the sources? We're given the HTML file. We're also given the main.css file. And it is kind of massive. That's fine. It looks like some comments are in the way. Um, neat trick. At least, I don't know in Firefox, but I'm in Chrome right now. In the developer tools, you can hit this these curly braces here, and that will pretty print or kind of format what you're looking at. So I was able to kind of explore these and take a look at them on our own. Um, and I thought, well, I will miss, they must be trying to hide something here because that text was so big. Uh, I thought they would be trying to do something weird. So I started to look for the like flag format ICTF, and I didn't get anything. I looked for just CTF, and then I got a hit. It said... The data hide before has content, CTF, and that looks like the start of the flag former. That looks like a piece or a fragment of the flag. So I thought in my mind, okay, this must be the game. This must be the move here, is that they've hidden different pieces of the actual uh, CTF here and the, and the flag format all in a different uh, HTML element with kind of hiding it in data hide or setting a, a color so it's invisible, trying to hide the background and stuff. So if we were to actually ch even change the background color, if you wanted to try and manipulate some of the CSS, you totally could. I'm going to try and find the background here. Background color, we can just go to like white or something. But again, all of these invisible things are hidden as invisibility or and we can comment some of these lines out and see if some of them will end up displaying pieces of the flag. Or you could just start to track down pieces of the flag uh, by searching for them within the CSS. Like you can see this one here has another segment of the flag determined kind of by the curly brace ending here. And they're using just the content property. They're just Every single element and every single property is just being uh, set with the content. So it's not visible in the HTML, but it's set by the CSS. So if we wanted to, we could just simply search for content and get pieces of the flag. We saw ice. Let's get a, get a text editor open where we can start to piece these together. We saw ice, ctf, colon, um, and then the lights was at the very end of that content uh, underscore somewhere. Looks like that doesn't have any real data, but the lights there turned, styles turned, and our underscore. So styles turned the lights, maybe. That should be the flag. Like we can try it out. We can submit it if we wanted to test it. And it says, oh, styles turned the lights. Forgot the S there. Yes, in the background, you can see the checkbox. We did solve that challenge. That was the flag. Odd and weird. Um, I was kind of hoping you can probably tweak the CSS a little bit or turn things visible where you actually would be able to like view the page and have the, have it display out the flag for you just written on, on the HTML page. But I didn't mess with it long enough to be I actually even care. I thought, okay, if I can just find the content and piece together the flag just like that, that's fine. No need to write a stupid get flag challenge or get flag script for this. It is kind of a admittedly stupid challenge. It's kind of a little scavenger hunt. Whatever. I love you guys. ICTF creators, you're the best. <laughs> Hey, quick shout out to the people that support me on Patreon. Thank you guys so much. One dollar a month or more on Patreon will give you a special shout out just like this at the end of every video. Five dollars or more on Patreon will give you early access to everything that I release on YouTube before it goes live. Because I like to record in bulk and then gradually let YouTube schedule and release them.
If you did like this video, you're into CTFs, programming, other cool stuff, please do join our Discord server, link in the description. It's a pretty cool community of CTF players, programmers, and hackers. If you want to hang out with me and, you know, other cool people that love this stuff, that's the place to do it. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you watching. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. Would love to see you on Patreon. Would love to see you in the next video. Later.